EA have created a system that generates billions every single year, but in 2020, Zlatan Ibrahimovic nearly caused the entire thing to collapse. In the first week of EA FC 24, 11 million players logged in, and what is the main reason? Because they want to play with their favorite teams and their favorite players, but not everyone is on board with this. Listen to what Ibrahimovic's agent has to say. We already consulted our lawyers. This is an ongoing thing for more than many years. It's not something that that is uh, popped up uh, two days ago. Uh, EA Sports already uh, uh, always dodged us, and uh, it's time that they stop dodging us. So you're going to get serious with them, EA Sports? No, we are serious. We're not going to get serious. We are serious. This has all got to do with player image rights. This is hugely important. It's literally the first thing that EA always talk about every single year. There are over 19,000 plus footballers in the game, and each of these need to give their permission to be in the game. But on November 23rd, 2020, Zlatan Ibrahimovic came out and publicly said that he never agreed to being in the game and if he is in the game he should at least be making money from this and this created a huge impact he got over 50,000 likes on his tweet so they're talking to parties that don't have the rights of the players because the fifa doesn't have it and cpro doesn't have it uh, the image rights the individual image rights of the players are only in the players and that's it and that's why they made also deals with let's say beckham because they have to make a deal with Beckham if they want to use Beckham's name. So they have to make a deal with Zlatan or other, other players if they want to make a deal. And going to parties that claim that they have it, and well, they know they don't have it, is both is wrong on both sides. Mino Raiola is referring to David Beckham's partnership with EA Sports in FIFA 21. And reportedly, the number is 40 million that was paid to David Beckham. That is obviously a huge number, just literally for him to be included in some promotional adverts and also to be added as an icon into the game. And it made all of the other footballers realize, hang on a minute, I am in the game too, and I aren't being paid anything at all. Mino, am I right in thinking as many as 300 players might join Zlatan and Bale in this? Yeah, even more, even more because it's an in crucial, it's a crucial thing, and people now notice it and uh, woke up about it. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame that they had to come with this, but uh, we tried, and uh, yeah, we were not considered uh, by EA Sports and the other parties, and now we are. So uh, yeah. This can, can, up, can end up in, in court or this can end up that uh, we find a new system to, to work on it. This situation was huge. And as we have just heard, there were over 300 plus footballers willing to get involved in this and potentially take EA to court. One of those who was very loud on social media as well, backing Ibrahimovic was Gareth Bale. He did also feature on the cover of FIFA 14. So that was something that was raised up and sort of why haven't you come out earlier to speak up about this. It's unclear whether or not there was any communication between Ibrahimovic or his agent and EA Sports, but unfortunately, Mino Raiola passed away in April 2022, and the situation since then has just de-escalated and we haven't heard much. EA did respond to this and they released a formal statement, which claimed that they do in fact have permission to use all of the players that are in the game, and this is to do with Fifth Pro, which is a not-for-profit organization, and they basically go around to player unions across 60 different countries, and they do request permission for all of these footballers to be used and for them to own those licenses. If this did get taken to court, who do you think would win?